Hey guys, it's Matt with bleepinjeep.com. If you're like me, then you've dealt with pieces like this, which are faded plastic for your bumper caps and for your, uh, your fender flares, that kind of thing. Usually what I use is Black Magic Tire Wet, and you just spray that on there, wipe it down, and it turns it nice and shiny black again. But the problem with that is it's only temporary. This is like an oil base, I guess and it makes it nice and, uh, and shiny until this dries up and then you have to reapply. But Tim has a better solution using a heat gun, so let's check that out. But first, check out my website, bleepinjeep.com. We've got all the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff, hats and t-shirts, muffler brakes, flux capacitors, and more. Check it out, bleepinjeep.com. Do subscribe right here to the YouTube channel and check out the Facebook page as well. Hey guys, this video is gonna be about fixing the uh, faded plastic on your Jeep Cherokee or Wrangler or any other vehicle. Um, I've tried a lot of stuff, back to black, etc. Um, all of which worked for a short period of time. Finally ended up buying some Rust-Oleum spray paint, which has a uh, picture of a Jeep right on it. Figured that would be good, and uh, I never got around to using it. So, uh, I had my vehicle parked across the street over here and the sun reflecting off of my neighbor's windows darkened it just by heat and I know people have used heat guns before so I uh, finally gave in and bought one to see if it'll work All right, so it looks like it's kind of a, a slow process. I've never used a heat gun for this application before. Um, obviously it works. Well, it's actually worked pretty well. It's not uh, perfectly consistent, but after about 10 or 15 minutes of slowly passing back and forth, um, it actually looks really good compared to how it was. Um, I'm gonna leave it for now as I'm weary of getting the paint too hot. But I might do come back and do a second, a second attempt here a little bit. Um, yeah, it's about 10 or 15 minutes on high, about three to four inches seem to be about the right distance. Hey guys, I'm on my uh, fourth and final fender flare here. I've uh, had enough time now to develop a technique. I'll show you. It seems to work better if you start on the downside and move up. You get less streaking. So. So that should be enough to get the idea, but this is actually working pretty well. I'm hoping that with a second pass or maybe after a, a wash, um, some of the uh, the streaking right here will uh, will be less apparent. But for you know, a pretty simple simple fix, I think it's good. It's a lot better than spray paint. No masking, no overspray. I'd imagine spray paint without proper application will chip off too, and this seems to just draw the uh, the pigment from deeper in the plastic to the surface. So for twenty dollars, brand new, I think it's a pretty good fix. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Do subscribe right here to the YouTube channel and check out the Facebook page. Check out the website as well, bleepinjeep.com. We've got hats and T-shirts, all kinds of videos, and other discount coupon codes and more. Bleepinjeep. Com. Do leave your comments or questions below. I look forward to hearing from you, and uh, we'll see you next time.